favorite people. As you guys know on the channel, we've been keeping up with all the hoopla that is the drama surrounding Olivia Rodrigo's number one single, Driver's License. A few videos ago, we actually reacted to Sabrina's response to Driver's License with her song Skin. And I was on the fence about what it actually meant, how I interpreted the lyrics. I asked you guys to give your opinions in the comments, which you did. And Sabrina since then has actually come out and explained what the song is actually meaning. So I thought it would be appropriate to actually set the record straight on this channel so that anyone who's watching or, you know, based off of my opinions that I gave in that video, you get you don't get the wrong idea about Sabrina. I want her to be able to speak for herself, so therefore I'm also going to let her, I guess, speak on the channel in a way. So sit back, relax, let's get straight into the drama. All this over a boy. But can I also just point out, what a business move. What a business move. You see all these people paying attention to this one song, it's going number one because of a situation you were involved in. So of course, you're gonna release a song too. Everybody gets coin, everyone gets a check. At least you're getting paid for it. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video as well so I know you enjoy it and you want me to do more, I don't know, reactions on their music. Skin is actually the first time I ever listened to Sabrina Carpenter, so yeah, kind of unfortunate, but I did like her voice. So I could potentially see myself listening to more of her music. If that's something you're interested in, like the video. Okay, beach. Corvette, Corvette. So this is an article by Elite Daily. Sabrina Carpenter's Instagram about the meaning of skin shuts down rumors. The rumors were saying that she basically was rubbing it in Olivia Rodrigo's face that she stole her man and that she's not sorry for it. But according to her Instagram post and Elite Daily, that is not the case. Sabrina Carpenter is setting the record straight. After she dropped her new single, Skin, on January 22nd, fans immediately broke down the lyrics and guessed it was a response to Olivia Rodrigo's song that's seemingly, that seemingly about Carpenter's can I read? That's seemingly about Carpenter driver's license. Now, Sabrina Carpenter's Instagram about the meaning of skin explains exactly what fans got right and wrong about the single. My interpretation of the song was that she, again, she was taking digs at Olivia, kind of being like a mean girl about it. But I could also see how a lot of the lyrics weren't even about Olivia, they were just Sabrina expressing herself and her pain. When Rodrigo released her emotional breakup song, Driver's License, on January 8th, it didn't take long for fans to connect the dots within the lyrics. Duh. They guessed it was about her room and relationship with her high school musical, the musical ser the series co-star Joshua Bassett. First of all, whoever came up with that TV show title name, you're going to hell. And also, I saw a comment that was like, Disney further like advanced the rumors and, and stipulation between Joshua Bassett and Olivia Rodrigo by like making them do interviews with each other. Like basically they were trying to push the whole ship between the two, knowing that Joshua was above age. I mean, they met each other from casting when Olivia Rodrigo was like 16 and Homie was 18. So Disney right off the bat, you're pairing a minor with an adult. It's weird to be in like a romantic relationship on TV. And I know that's like a common thing within the business, but I don't, I think that's wrong. Let me know your thoughts. The first line, I got my driver's license last week, like we always talked about, immediately set off alarm bells in fans' heads who recalled Rodrigo had gotten a driving lesson from Bassett in the past. The lyrics about Rodrigo's ex moving on with an older blonde girl had fans pointing their fingers at Bassett's current rumored girlfriend, Carpenter. Carpenter's skin lyrics were just as pointed as Rodrigo's, so fans guessed it was her response to the HSM star from the first line in which Carpenter sings. Maybe we could have been friends if I met you in another life. Maybe then we could pretend there's no gravity in the words we write. Maybe you didn't mean it. Maybe blonde was the only rhyme. And then we get a picture of Olivia Rodrigo and Joshua Bassett. First off, two things. I don't wanna see Joshua. I, again, I just don't understand why these girls are over here fighting over this guy. I mean, yeah, he's cute, he's kind of adorable, but nothing is like making me swoon over this dude. Maybe he just has a great personality, I don't know. But whenever I look at Joshua Bassett and his eyebrows, I don't fall head over heels, you know? So I don't see whatever they see, but you know, whatever. There was a lot of talk about how the original lyrics of Driver's License said brunette and not blonde, and that Olivia changed them last minute to say blonde. And I feel like there's no denying that was more, that, that made it more personal. So Sabrina is in, within her right to also call that out within skin and be like, maybe blonde was the only rhyme. But I feel like, yeah, that that's like a clear shot at Sabrina. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Each singer's account of the events that inspired their songs had fans taking sides. Yeah. If you- my thing too is why would you- if you didn't want this to be so public and like out there for everyone to have an opinion and you know, do whatever they do, which in this case was attack Sabrina, why are you making songs about it? Like you could have kept it personal, but whatever. Sunday, January 24th, Carpenter attempted to cool the waters and explain there's no bad blood between her and Rodrigo even if Skin is about her in some capacity. Thank you to everyone who has listened to Skin, especially those who have opened their minds to lyrically what I was trying to get across, Carpenter wrote on Instagram. I wasn't bothered by a few, I wasn't bothered by a few, what? 
I wasn't bothered by a few lines in a magnificent song and wrote a diss track about it. In the end, Carpenter wanted her fans to know that while a few lines are about Rodrigo and driver's license, the song is more a message to her younger self, recounting to all her lessons about dealing with rumors and haters that she now knows at the age of 21. I was at a tipping point in my life for countless reasons, so I was inspired to do what I usually do to cope, write something that I wish I could have told myself in the past. So this was, Skin was a memoir to her younger self. Maybe in the way that her younger self would have handled the situation, but never in that song did I get like she was trying to talk to her past self or like she was speaking to herself at all. It was all like speaking about the situation going on. It never, okay, whatever. People can only get to you if you give them the power to. Okay, that is true. She did write about how you can't get under my skin, but you are getting under my skin even if I don't let you in. That part is true, she did include that. And a lot of people were trying to get to me. The song isn't calling out one single person. Some lines address a specific situation while other lines address plenty of other experiences I've had this past year. Okay, I can see that as well. It also shows that many things have actually gotten under my skin and I'm still learning not to give other people so much power over my feelings. Okay, so once she said she's speaking about her younger self, maybe she was talking about how in the past she would let a lot of things affect her a lot and like she's trying not to do that anymore so i can understand what she's saying from that point and yes i do think again she did mention the getting under my skin i won't let you in i'm stronger than that blah 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 so all that is correct i know a lot of you struggle with the same thing is how she closed out all i don't want this to become an endless cycle so please don't take this as an opportunity to send more hate anyone's way lots of love to you all thanks for letting me grow okay so I don't know if I necessarily, again, agree with this was a message to her younger self. I think this was more so not a message to her younger self, but from her younger self. Like she was looking at the situation and being like, how would the old Sabrina react or how would she behave with this situation? And she was trying not to do what she would have done. She's trying to show that she's grown, she's older, she's stronger not letting the situation get under her skin, but then also directly addressing driver's license in some lines of the song. Honestly, I feel like this should have been handled outside of the public eye. I don't think it was right for anyone to send Sabrina or even Olivia death threats. I don't really think it's our business, but then again, they made it our business when they started writing about it and freaking filming a TV show, period. Joshua Bassett could have pulled Olivia Rodrigo to the side, explained that he's moving on, he can't, he doesn't want her waiting around for him to turn when she turns 18 and this would have been all handled better if there was just better communication we wouldn't have gotten two songs but then again they wouldn't have gotten two checks which is really what i think this is all about at the end of the day let's be honest here yeah this is definitely for a check drama brings money hence why i've made like four videos on it <laughs> subscribe if you're new here like this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye